Hey everybody, my name is Ronald and this is Unplugged, our new series about spiritual disciplines. I don't know how you guys have been feeling about FaceTime and Zoom recently, but oh my goodness, have we been using these two platforms in a big, big way. Now, they, they existed before quarantining became popular, but now they seem like they're the only way we can connect with people face to face. And even like as restrictions are getting lifted and we're being able to go out a little bit more, uh, it still seems like this is the way we get to connect with people and friends. And it's really strange, like even right now recording this and talking to you, like I'm experiencing what you experience on Zoom. The fact that I'm looking at the camera right now is up here. But when I have to look at somebody's eyes, I'm actually looking down here. And it's really disorienting to see the difference so that when we're looking at our friends on a screen, we're trying to look in their eyes and connect with them. But the reality is we're also thinking about looking up at this little camera that's recording us. And it seems like there's a disconnect, like we're not actually getting to really focus and connect with the people we're talking to. And I get it. It makes sense because we're not. <laughs> we're not in the same room. There's something about being connected to somebody that makes a big difference when you're trying to talk to them. Now, somebody who knows about connecting to God was Jesus. <laughs> when Jesus was a human here living on earth and breathing, he often would go out and connect with God. We have several verses that talk about Jesus' habit of doing this, but I want to highlight two for us here real quick. The first one is Mark 1, 35. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he, meaning Jesus, departed and went out to a desolate place. And there he prayed. This tells us that Jesus had the habit of waking up early, getting by himself, even making sure that other people weren't around, and then went to go to a place to pray. And then also in Mark 5, 16, it says, but Jesus himself would often slip away to the wilderness and pray. Now, what we see here are two different things, but something I want to point out to you is that Jesus, who is God, knew the importance of praying and connecting with God. Now, you might not be a morning person, that's fine, and ever since this quarantine business started, I've been sleeping in later and later every day. I, I don't know about you. The morning may not necessarily be your prime time, but an example we can take from Jesus is he made time to pray. He made time to connect with God. So here's our question that I want us to talk about. Why should we pray? Why should we spend time talking to God? Because you might ask yourself, well, doesn't God know everything? Uh, doesn't God already know what I need? Why do I need to pray if God already knows what I'm going to pray for? Well, here are a couple of reasons why we should pray. The first one is obedience. God tells us to pray. He lets us know that he, we can talk to him, but he also says that he wants us to talk to him. So praying is an act of obedience. It's also an act of following in Jesus' example. Next, also, prayer is a way for us to have intimacy with God, to really let him know how what's going on in our lives. Now, again, God knows what's happening in our lives, but this is for us. This is for us to feel intimately connected to God by sharing with him what our deepest struggles are at the moment, by praying and asking him to help us with the things we're going through that maybe nobody else knows about. Another reason to pray is for us to be thankful. Now, even though you might be sitting in your room, kind of like I am right now, wishing there were different circumstances around you, the reality is if you sat down and thought about it, you have a lot to be thankful for. Have you gone hungry during the quarantine? Uh, do you have a family who's been helping you and taking care of you? Do you have a roof over your head? There's a lot for us to be thankful for. And often we can pray and tell God, hey, thank you. Thank you for providing for my needs. And as we do that, we realize all the things that he's given us. Even being thankful for Zoom and for FaceTime, because it lets us connect to people just a little bit in this crazy season. 
It also gives us perspective. It helps us to realize that there's a God of the universe who cares for us and knows us and is taking care of things. And if the God of the universe knows us and is taking care of us, how big are our problems? And he cares for them. He cares for you. But if we take a moment to pray, it reminds us that we're not in charge. God is. And then last, what some of us often put first is, yeah, we can pray and ask God for help. We can pray and let him know our needs. And most of the time we go to this first, right? We begin praying and saying, God, I need this, or God, help me with this uh, test that I have to take online now. <laughs> the reality is that God knows these things, but just like praying can help us rearrange our perspective, when we pray and let God know what we need help with and our needs, it helps us remind it helps to remind us that God's in charge and he knows our needs and he will help us in the way that he sees best for us the reality is that we pray to connect with God that's why we pray praying pray praying is a spiritual discipline it's something we can do to take our faith into our own hands and so this week what i'd like for you to do is to practice praying at the bottom of this video down in the description, there's a link to this really cool document that you can just download and print at your house. And it's five days of five prayer prompts for you to do. Take a look at the scripture that I've got attached to each day. Look it up, think about it, and then look over the prompts for prayer. It'll take you maybe five minutes, but it'll be five minutes of you connecting with God. And Let's be honest, in a world where we're feeling more and more disconnected from everything, it's worthwhile to take a moment, unplug, and connect with the God of the universe who made us and who loves us. Hey, middle school students, I love you and I'm looking forward to getting to hang out again once all this quarantine is over, to getting to connect with you for real. And in the meantime, let me challenge you, take some time during your day and connect with God through prayer. We'll see you guys soon. Y'all have a good one.